We would like to introduce a revolutionary training system for practicing phaco surgery called Kitaro, developed in Japan. The Kitaro system consists of two types of training kits, one known as Kitaro Dry Lab and other as Kitaro Wet Lab. First, we will explain about Kitaro Dry Lab for practicing phaco surgery at a desk without using a phaco machine and an operation microscope prior to Kitaro Wet Lab. Kitaro Dry Lab has five innovative technologies. These are anterior capsule film, pre-divided nucleus, polymer clay nucleus, scleral corneal sheet, and ocular motor device. In addition, you can practice the following five techniques. CCC, a nucleus dividing technique, wound construction, IOL insertion, and monitoring eye movement with instruments. Let's examine each in turn. 1. Practice of CCC The setting. Open the container, take out the posterior capsule cup filled with wheat clay and set it in the sclera part. Cut off a piece from the roll of anterior capsule film and attach the film to the wheat clay. Fix the film by fitting the cornea iris part to the sclera part. Place it on the base and set a mask. Put a drop of viscoelastic on it. This is CCC is done with a cystotome. After practicing each of the operations, slide the film for the next operation. Smooth the surface of the clay with your finger on the film and repeat the setup as before. This shows an experienced doctor's CCC using forceps. Inexperienced doctors cannot perform the operation so well and will make similar mistakes with the film as with the human eye. In this case, a young doctor pressed the flap too hard, causing a tear in the film, extending toward the equator. Recovery is performed using vanus scissors and forceps. Following this procedure, you can practice CCC over and over again. 2. Practice of the Nucleus Dividing Technique We invented pre-divided plastic nuclei with pre-formed grooves and tunnels for practicing three typical nuclear dividing techniques. The setting. Position the pre-divided nucleus in the sclera part. Place the CCC processed film on it. Set a corneal iris part and a mask. By using these pre-divided plastic nuclei, you can simulate the dividing and rotating of the nucleus repeatedly, and can practice the three typical nucleus dividing techniques. These nuclei are useful for learning basic instrument manipulation. 
using the wound as a pivot. You can master the correct instrument manipulation by moving the instruments along the grooves, tunnels and or dividing parts, the positions and depth or which are ideal for the appropriate surgery. We also have invented the polymer clay nucleus. This nucleus can be pierced and split just like the human nucleus. The setting. Position the polymer clay nucleus in the posterior cup in the sclera part. Put a few drops of viscoelastic in the posterior capsule cup which contains the polymer clay. Set a cornea iris part and a mask. These polymer clay nuclei are most suitable for practicing the pre-chop technique and phaco-chop techniques. You can learn how to use the instruments in the proper position and at the proper depth of nucleus because this nucleus cannot be split by instruments in a faulty position or at a shallow depth. After practicing this technique, you can reuse the polymer clay by putting the piece back together. However, do not use the same piece of polymer clay you just used. Instead, use another piece. The reformed nucleus can be used again after waiting 10 to 20 minutes. 3. Practice of Wound Construction Set the sclerocorneal limbus to the sclera part. Remove the release paper of the sclerocorneal sheet and attach the adhesive face to the lateral face of the sclerocorneal limbus by pressing it for a few seconds. You can practice the corneal one-plane incision with a keratome. Move the knife forward through the sheet so that it comes out in the middle of the thickness. Also, you can practice scleral self-sealing incision with a crescent knife. Move the knife through the middle of the sheet, swiveling to the left and right along the curvature of the eye, until the knife comes out of the edge. Effective practice is possible if you make sure the position of the knife is in the thickest part of the sheet. You can also simulate the actual surgery by moving the blade so that the blade edge comes out of the upper part of the sheet where the sheet is not attached to the sclerocorneal limbus. Attached to the sclerocorneal IOL insertion. IOL insertion with forceps or an injector is also possible. Additionally, Kitaro has a function for monitoring eye movement with instruments. We have invented an oculomotor device which simulates eye movement upon contact with surgical instruments. Next, we will explain about the Kitaro wet lab system for practicing phaco surgery using a phaco machine and an operating microscope, which can replace the porcine wet lab. The main feature of Kitaro wet lab is in the high quality artificial cornea and artificial cataract lens with synthesized nucleus, cortex, anterior and posterior capsules. 
The setting. Put tap water into the irrigation bag. Connect it with irrigation line of the FACO machine. Prepare a drainage box or some other drainage system and place the kitaro on it. Take one artificial cataract lens from the five-piece pack and set it in the hollow of the sclera part. Set the cornea iris part in the sclera part and cover it with a mask. Make side port incisions and a corneal incision. Fill the anterior chamber with viscoelastic. If you want to reduce the amount of viscoelastic, fill another chamber with water and put a small amount of viscoelastic on the anterior capsule. Continuous circular capsule axis. Hydro dissection and hydro delineation. Surface cortex aspiration. Grooving of the nucleus. What follows is a description of an artificial cataract lens with a soft nucleus. Beginners should start training for the grooving technique using a soft nucleus. Splitting of the nucleus into two halves. Rotation of the nucleus. Insertion of US tip into the half nucleus. Holding of the nucleus and splitting of the nucleus into quadrants. Emulsification and aspiration of the nucleus fractions. Removal of the cortex with IA tip. IOL implantation. As we have demonstrated, you can practice phaco surgery very similarly on the human eye. Following is a description of an artificial cataract lens with a medium hardness nucleus. Grooving of the nucleus. Splitting of the nucleus into two. Rotation of the nucleus. Insertion of US tip and holding of the nucleus. Splitting of the nucleus into quadrants. Emulsification and aspiration of the nuclear fractions. Removal of the epinucleus. You can practice all phacal surgery steps very similarly on the human eye. This is nucleus segmentation with the pre chop technique using the soft nucleus. This is a method to practice the phaco chop technique using the medium hardness nucleus. First chop. Second chop. 
In this case, posterior capsule tear occurred and the fragment almost dropped into the vitreous cavity. However, you can learn how to manage posterior capsule rupture. First, extend the incision and remove the fragment with a vectus. Perform two port vitrectomy to practice removal of the residual cortex. Then suture the incision. As we have shown, the Kitaro surgical training system consists of Kitaro dry lab and Kitaro wet lab. We believe the most effective method to master these techniques is to first learn instrument manipulation with Kitaro dry lab and second to learn machine operation with Kitaro wet lab. Then an actual operation can be performed. Learning everything with wet lab exclusively is very complicated for beginners. We believe that the Kitaro surgical training system represents the future of cataract surgery education. That future begins now with Kitaro.